So now with the, uh, with the understanding of these transformations, just like what we had before, you know, the minus H, like the H and K is the starting point or think about moving left, right. Okay, that's really what the H stands for. Up and down, it's a K, and then you have the stretch and strength. So now we'll, what we wanna do is to look at these equations and, and to reduce the amount, amount of guessing, I'm giving you the graph at the same time. So now we're going to list the transformations by looking at the equation and the graph together, okay? So if you look at the first graph, we're like, oh, you know, square root of x plus two and then plus five. So, uh, so we say, oh, that means uh, plus two means we are shifting to the left, as you can see. And then the plus five means shift up five units. And I also want you to see the one, three, and five. Okay. So that's easy. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the one next to it. Uh, the next one uh, has a bit more stuff. Uh, we can tell that uh, the starting point is going to be a three comma negative one right here. Uh, we can say shift it to the left. No, sorry, my bad. I mean, shift to the right, three units. And uh, shifting up and down, it's always um, the last, okay? Because it's the farthest away from the X, so we uh, will do the shifting up and down the very last. And now, what about the two and the minus in front of the uh, square root? So the two means a vertical stretch by two. So if you look at the parent function, we only go up one unit every single time, right? Up one unit every single time. Or now, because of the uh, negative, it's being reflected as a reflection over the uh, x-axis. So that's why we will go down and we go down. It's not one unit, we go down by two units. So we'll still, we'll still go to the right by one, three and five, but then as we go down, it is going to be two units every single time, okay? So make sure you can see. And the, uh, the, the standard is this. If you ask yourself, you cover the, if you cover the graph and the transformations, if you just stare at the equation, would you be able to write down the transformations? Would you be able to picture the graph if you just stare at the equation? Okay. And then uh, the graph to the right, okay we can clearly see that it's gonna shift up five units and we put it dead last. But now what does a two mean? That two always causes uh, some trouble. The number in front of X, it's always gonna cause some trouble. What does that two mean? It is what? Compression which way? It's a horizontal. Okay, now I'm gonna put a blank right here by, okay. So if you remember what we did before, the B value, it's always one over. So that's how we know it's one over two. And because it's a number less than one, so that means it's a compression or a strength either way. Okay, you can choose either word, either strength or compression. So, well, typically we move to the right one, three, five, seven. 
but because of the horizontal compression, now we're not moving one, three, five, seven. We're only moving one, five, one point five, three point five, and three point five. And uh, do we show? Does it show on the graph? Point five, one point five, two point five. And a 3.5. Okay. So it's very evident from the graph. So, again, what I want to accomplish here with these uh, three pictures and three equations is that I want to take the guessing work out of the way. I want you to be able to um, look at the equation, look at the graph, and see how they go hand in hand together. All right. Now, on the next page, we will do some more writing. And eventually, I'm going to ask you to draw the uh, lines. But first, I want you to build confidence to tell how you get these, uh, to tell how you get these uh, transformations, okay? So next up, we will have uh, three more examples, but now I want you to go ahead and write down the transformations yourself, okay, in the next five minutes. Try it out. 